Belize is uh, particularly special. Most of my professional career has focused on doing research at sites in Belize. These are big pyramids, palaces, big palace complex. There are more prehistoric buildings than modern houses in Belize. When I came to NAU, it was easy for me to then say, guess what, I want to continue my Belize program, but bring NAU to Belize. There are different ways that we find archaeological sites, especially in tropical jungle environments. We've been able to use high-tech ways to locate sites. And that high-tech way is called LIDAR. LIDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. You know, look, these are all prehistoric households. Look. About six other colleagues of mine who work in Belize. We got together and we approached this funding agency out of Chicago called the Alpha Wood Foundation. And we said, look, you know, if you can give us this big grant, we can then get this plane from Houston to come down and we can survey through LIDAR this huge chunk of Western Belize. I tell my students that LIDAR is God's gift to the tropical archaeologist. It's essentially like having a magic wand and saying, forest, be gone. So when we go to Belize and into the jungle, we, can, we know exactly where to go. And so now our students are participating in cutting edge research because how many universities in the U.S. have access to LIDAR data in the tropical jungles of Central America? In addition to the incredible contribution that LIDAR is making for us as archaeologists and for my students here at NAU, it also contributes significantly to the country of Belize. LIDAR now has allowed us to identify sites to identify sites that might be, you know, in danger of destruction because of natural causes or because, you know, they're planning to construct a new highway. In addition to excavating them and getting information about the past and about the people that live there, we also conserve them so that then visitors to Belize can go to these sites and get a sense of the amazing civilization that once you know, occupied that part of the world. Other, you know, other students come down to Belize with me. They don't only learn archaeology. They, you know, they have an opportunity to learn about tourism development you know, in a developing country. If you want to be a good archaeologist, you have to be a jack of all trades. You have to be a historian. You have to be a scientist. You have to be a sleuth. I think I have one of the greatest jobs, really, you know, at NAU.